Hi everyone, here's Anne, and we are playing what remain of Edith Finch. Uh, last time we saw how Gus actually ended. Uh, rule number one, do not fly the kite when there is a storm around. And don't be a dick on the wedding. That's also a good point. So, let's see what we have here. Ooh, there is a still going up. So, let's do it how the guys intended. Let's go to Milton. Hide out. Now it's really nice. Not particularly fond of heights, but this is really beautiful, and this is really like slum, so strange. Okay. Have I been? No, that's from the bottom. Nothing here. Not visible. Maybe there will be there is possible to see more in a house now when there is Okay. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Okay, and there is a possibility to go from the top. Hmm, <coughs> that's giving me an idea. First off, okay, that's a way how to overthink. He was pretty talented. Sculptures, paintings, beautiful. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Another one, exact copy. Those are mountains? How? Let's see how he disappeared. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. actually 
walked away. I was four when Milton disappeared. Nice. Not that. to go down. Uh, so it's still the same. Where is the place with the doors? Searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Those are the doors. Open it. This looks Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. It looking like all of the children, everyone, even the older people, they went crazy and first of all they wanted to go out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Hmm, it would be Lewis. Sorry. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. <coughs> I thought so. Not much, but obviously happy to try. Specific stuff. Beautiful. Now it's nice. Can you jump? Can't. So, open. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. Very familiar. Okay. Exit. No. Ah! No, 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 no! Damn! I just turned around. It's like every part of the house is or was designed by someone else. Diploma, high school diploma. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Hmm. No, I will not go there again.
Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. No. His mind began to wander. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. Come on. He'd feel his way about, then something moved. Bats and toads. Things that have not names. Come on. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Yeah, we're gonna go take steps. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focus. Yeah, because he was totally like a brainwashed. Whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Uh, he will cut his. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Ah, uh, come on, musician. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. He was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds even the stones under his feet were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. 
it became a game for him. Nevistopia. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... ...handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for... Come on, ready the other rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Something positive, at least. We followed the sound of her. Silver heart. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Yes, I wanted to go to the princess, okay. Okay, that's not a golden palace. Happy brown canary. I would not be able to. Began enter. to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. And, um... He began to despise the man with a royal contempt.
Wake up! Wake up! Bloody... I still thought I could save him. I don't think she was a good... Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Nah, I don't think she's a good psychiatrist. Ooh, a lot, a lot of salmon. The palace would be packed with his companions. Coming. Yeah. Beautiful. And down his head. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. I would sue you. Unbelievable. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Mm, okay. Only one missing is Abby. So, I think we shall see the rest in the next Let's Play. So, see you later! See you! See ya! <laughs>